All right, now for the real charismatic species. <laughs> okay. Imagine a world without the king of beasts. Imagine Africa without its most iconic animal, the lion. That is quickly becoming a reality today. There are over 7 billion people on Earth and over 1.2 billion on the African continent alone. Now, to sustain these high numbers, people are consuming the Earth's natural resources at an alarming rate. As a result, lions have disappeared from over 80% of their historic range, and in the past 50 years, their numbers have plummeted from over 200,000 to less than 23,000, and they're also listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. Now, the four primary reasons for the, for the declining numbers are the destruction of natural habitat, depletion of prey, increasing human wildlife conflict and poaching, with an emphasis on the destruction of natural habitat. Most lion populations today are restricted to protected areas scattered across the continent. In fact, there are 64 designated lion conservation areas throughout Africa, but only six of them are considered strongholds, in which there are more than a thousand lions in each, rendering the majority essentially islands among a sea of humanity. As with any other animal population confined to an isolated area, lions are also prone to local extinction in these isolated areas due to stochastic events. Most lion populations being isolated in a small area are not viable, but you take that same area and make it part of a network of other protected areas connected through corridors. Now that can in itself become a viable option for the, for the sustainability and viability of a particular lion population. The fundamental purpose of a corridor is to facilitate genetic material safely from one isolated population to the next. The effectiveness of corridors depends on the habitat type and quality, the surrounding matrix of land use, but also the length and width of each corridor. And this is the focus of my research. By implementing remote sensing and geographic information systems, I am able to identify and quantify habitat variables and features within my study area in an effort to model and predict lion corridors between these different regions of my study area. Model validation is also based on um, nearly 10 years of GPS lion movement data. Now, it is said that big cat conservation in the 21st century hinges on the establishment and identification of wildlife corridors. And with this, I'm going to leave you with the following. If we can't save lions from extinction, what can we really save? Bye, donkey. Thank you. <laughs>